What's up guys, this is Madison from Collision Hub, and in this video I'm going to show you guys the basic breakdown of your paint gun. Before we start the refinishing process, it's a good thing to know your paint gun, know all the parts, and how it all works. So I spray with the SOTA 4000 HVLP, and we're going to use my gun for this breakdown. We're going to start with the visual aspects of the gun. You can see that I have the digital version, which it reads your air pressure within the gun without a regulator. Then we go to the air valve. It controls the air within the gun. Now remember, this is only for fine tuning. If you're gonna use major adjustments with your air, you need to go to the wall and do it. Then we start with the fan pattern adjustment. It's really simple for whenever you need to make quick adjustments. Next we have the needle adjustment. It adjusts how far back the needle goes, so you can have more material flow through your gun or less material. We start by taking this off. And before we get to the needle, we have the spring. What the spring does is whenever you trigger off the gun, it pushes your needle back. So if this spring was lost or forgotten, as soon as you trigger back off the gun, your needle will not push forward, so you'll have continuous material flowing through your gun. So we take that out. Then we have the air cap. The air cap is what gives you your fan pattern. So if it was clogged or if there was any material left in through there, it would have an uneven spray pattern. This is your fluid tip, and you have to make sure that you use the right tool for it or else if you use a 12 millimeter wrench, it could easily slip and you could damage this fluid tip and that will cause your spray pattern to be uneven. Okay, so we just take this off and this is your fluid tip and the whole fluid nozzle, it sits inside the material passage. So the material flows through and it sits within here and this is where the material comes out of your gun. So that's the basic breakdown of your gun. You need to do that every time to make sure that all the parts are clean before you go in the booth so you have a nice working gun. 